Are you looking for a really unique gift to give this year? You are going to find some very special and very beautiful gifts at Nature's Art Village right now. Joey Plute has a preview of the goods and, and some of the antiques being sold at Nature's Art Village. It's such a, an array of wonderful products there, plus the, you know, the museum and the rides for the kids and the, some of the water slide. I mean, it's just got everything. But today really we're, con we're concentrating on some of these the more beautiful gifts that you could possibly give this year. Yeah, well, um, you bring up the whole campus. Um, what's really cool about our location is that the shops are really the heartbeat of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't know that we started in Salem Four Corners. It's just a small mineral fossil shop. And then that built into that giant campus that you guys see today over It's the one with the big dinosaur when you're driving <laughs> yeah, down uh, <laughs> exactly. in Waterford. So when you're thinking of the dinosaur, you might not realize that there's a beautiful place. And I think I, I remember visiting us. It's one of the largest suppliers of crystals, right? You have yes. one of the largest collections. Oh, 100%. Um, right now, um, from the inventory that I saw yesterday, I was told that we are now the largest distributor or container of clear quartz mineral. Okay. Um, on top of that, we have New England's largest bead room in there as well. Oh. So a lot of people that are very much hobbyists, um, at our location hobbyists, whether you're a collector or an impulse shopper, that's really this is really the place where you're going to go and go for holiday shopping. Kara, but you particularly love this. Stuff. I love crystals because they're beautiful, but I've also, from doing so many years of Kara's Cures, I know that they do have those metaphysical properties where people use them and they feel, you know, it helps them with um, healing or just feeling balanced. A hundred percent. So uh, with Going with those metaphysical properties, uh, people believe in the amethyst for being a peace stone. It's one of those that are very calming or strength, stuff like that. When you come over to clear quartz, um, these are very standard, um, very basic energy. Um, the, what people don't know is these are not solid. They seem it, but they have a lot of space in between them. Oh, I so would that's totally where people, not have thought that. That's where people believe that energy comes from. That's not solid. Okay, interesting. And quartz, you know, it, it comes from deep in the earth. Even if, you know, it's just the the meaning. People like to give a gift with meaning, and you're like, well, this is for good health, or this uh, jade stone is for pros prosperity, uh, prosperity, or the mm -hmm. crystal is for you know feeling good. It, you can exactly. just give with meaning, even if people just set it on their desk and look at it. Exactly. So depending on whether you go with jewelry to wear that feeling mm. or if you go with something for home decor in that way. Um, going on that, uh, starting with our amethyst side here. Isn't this, this is like, so stunning. This is, and so this is a tree and then it, people can't really see it at home, but it's built on a whole rock of crystal there to be moved, the necklace. Yeah. Like look at how gigantic. And I think so, a lot of these come from, you go all over the world, right? I think amethyst yes. a lot of times comes from South America. Yeah, that's one of its biggest places it comes from. Um, it can really be made anywhere where there's a little bit of iron in the quartz. Quartz makes up uh, about 15% uh, of the earth's crust. And just a tiny bit of iron can make an entire mile or so of quartz wow. into amethyst. Isn't it cool that it actually, like, it's right from deep in the earth? Well, it's I mean, like, it's so beautiful, uh, but that it just exists in the earth? It, it just it does. It just It's natural, and if you find it, you're rich, right? Pretty rich much. spiritually. <laughs> Both. It's not gold, exactly. right? But this is, I mean, some of the bigger cr crystals are a nice gift for people. Like, this is just so gorgeous. This is kind of more in its raw form where mm -hmm. it was cut right out. So beautiful to just set on your table, to decorate your home. Yeah, definitely. And we have some really nice jewelry pieces. I have a couple here that I would just want you to show you guys. We have two in comparison. Here, let me, t I'll put one on my hand. No problem. The camera. Just to show you, these two are two different, very different kinds of cuts. Okay. Uh, this one is more the traditional. Uh, cut, you can see the different angles. Yeah. The one that Scott's holding there, they call that a cab. It's more of just a polished, rounded mineral rather than um, the yeah. regular cut that you normally see with like a diamond or any other kind of emerald itself. Right, this looks more like a gemstone that you would be used to. And so this is amethyst, mm -hmm. and it's, a, it's my daughter's birthstone too. So. This oh, is, is it? it's such a beautiful piece. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, and for all the types of jewelry that people like, that's, some, that's one of our most popular. I mean, um, how could you go wrong with giving this as a gift? It's I mean, so pretty. This is so pretty. And you have all different sizes. So if you mm -hmm. were just, uh, like even these little quartz beads here, mm -hmm. these are great. These are not very expensive, and they're beautiful. And you could even do those as stocking stuffers. Or then there's more, you know, substantial pieces where someone uh, might just want something beautiful like this star to put mm -hmm. out for Christmas. Exactly. Let me, Kara, would you like 
hold that that round you know the the brown one it would you I think know it's and, great for and meditate people uh, often touch a crystal when they're meditating because it helps mm -hmm. them fo they say it'll help them focus or help them feel good and uh, I think I've experienced that a lot of people will say it helps them ground you know the same way we do a rosary and you touch a bead right right sometimes right sometimes right. touching something will help you just focus better just focus and ground you better mm -hmm. one piece I really want to focus on is this guy right up here mm -hmm. uh, if we can get a shot of that one that one right there that is a natural piece of quartz right out of the ground oh it came out that it way it came out so that cool. way with those different growths, um, those um, are known to be, ha or thought to have that more energy to them, mm -hmm. the more they grow out. Um, it's, they're very, very cool pieces. We have tons of these in inventory. Um, it's one of the biggest hobby enthusiast groups that pick up their quartz for these um, energies. And one thing about giving that is a gift, um, clear quartz is considered the gift of good luck oh, and nice. going into the new year. So we actually... For Kara and Scott here, oh thank you. We actually gave you guys your oh, own so gift pretty. of good luck. Thank you so much. Coming oh, up with so your nice. own clear coarse crystals. Well, thank you so much. Isn't mm -hmm. that nice? Of you course. can touch it and just keep it in your pocket, feel good. Exactly. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much, Joe. Of thank course, you so no much. problem. And uh, you know, you can find all of these beautiful gifts at Nature's Art Village. Be sure to look out for their Gem of the Month bead sale. That's this month, so you can even get someone's birthstone or a color they really love. Nature's Art Village is located at 1650 Hartford New London Turnpike and. Montville. The website for more details is naturesartvillage.com.